transport to gate 65 immediately as you are the last pass. So we arrived in Rome, um, it's 2.15 p.m. Uh, I got some sleep, I got some eye bags here, so I guess not that much sleep. Uh, and then we're gonna take an Uber and head over to the uh, Airbnb. Our first stop was Antico Bono Rossioli. These guys sold typical Roman pizza, which were square slices sold by the pound. It was really cool seeing them chop up pizza with a giant knife. I mean, how many pizza places do you know where they chop up your pizza like that? This is the pizza. It's known for the thin crust margarita. Baby. Cheers. Different though. The crust is really crispy, but it's also very like bready. Right? Mm. Yeah, it's not like yeah. it's not like New York where it's like thin. It's like very it's like the crust of like a bread and then the pizza on top. So we decided to visit the Pantheon a second time, even though we've been there before. Man, is it still breathtaking the second time. The minute you walk in and see that oculus, you're in awe that the Romans built this over 2,000 years ago. And it's still standing to this day. Incredible. Hey, so we're at a restaurant called Emma. Um, and they're supposed to be known for their pizza and pasta. This is our first night here in Rome. Um, and so we'll tell you guys how it is. We'll show you the food. This is an 8.8 .8 on Foursquare and a 4.5 on Yelp, so it should be good. We ordered mozzarella and prosciutto, which is amazing. And more importantly, look at the size of the Aperol Spritz. Yeah, this is a huge Alright, we got this carbonara here. Classic rubber dish. Let's give it a try. It. That's al dente. That is very. That is carbonara. <laughs> Hey, today is the second day and it's sunny outside. So today we're gonna visit the Colosseum. Uh, no, we're gonna visit the Roman Forum. Maybe not the Colosseum, depends on how long the lines are. Uh, and I think that's it. I don't think we have any other plans today. Probably just hang around Rome. We started our day off with a typical Italian breakfast. Just an espresso and a croissant with cream inside. We are here in Palatine Hill, and it's so nice today. Holy crap! There's nobody here, it's just us. But yeah, we recommend coming to Palatine Hill, there's nobody here. 
just us. And it's pretty late too, it's, it's like 10.30. Highly recommend. When we got our tickets to Palantan Hill, we actually got the super ticket, which gave us exclusive access to these beautiful rooms with preserved artwork from ancient Rome. So we just finished the Roman Forum and we're now headed to uh, Trastevere. So behind us, that's the Tiber River and headed off to get lunch. This is Danzo. This was my favorite meal in Rome. It's got tight seating and it's super busy but the dishes are extremely well priced and the food was exceptional. That's a fried artichoke, a very traditional Jewish trastevere dish. I got the fresh nochi with fresh mussels and Elisa got the natria chana. Oh, we definitely didn't forget dessert. They make a really good tiramisu here. Hey, so we just finished lunch at, uh, what is it, Da Enzo? Da Enzo. And it was really, really good. I highly recommend it if you uh, have time to come visit in Trastevere. It's, so it's like a diner. We had nochi and amachia jana, I think is what you call it. Uh, so now we're just hanging out in Trastevere. Tiramisu, oh, the tiramisu is really good, yes. Yeah, so now we're in Trastevere, and yeah, we're checking out the square. I think this is Basilica de Santa Maria. Um, and yeah, we're gonna check it out. Uh, the weather's nice today. Yeah. Now we're heading over to the Trevi Fountain. I've never been there yet. Last time we came there, uh, it was closed for renovation. Yeah, so now we're going to check it out. Hopefully there's not too many people there. Hopefully we'll get pickpocketed. Let's take a look. All right, we're gonna throw our coins into the fountain because we didn't get to do that last time. Woo! Okay. Alright, so it looks like we're going to go back to Rome, right? So what do you think of this place? Eh, La Romano's better. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I thought that the gelato was as good as La Romano. Oh, the gelato was good. Uh, the uh, cone was a bit thick, but... Yeah, the chocolate dip in particular with, like, the way it um, solidified was a bit much. Yeah, but I definitely recommend it, so you should definitely check this place out. Call me a latte. <laughs> I'm <I'm stressed. laughs> As we watched the sunset from the Spanish steps, we got to see Rome light up. 
Rome is at its absolute best the hour before sunset and the hour after sunset. The yellow lights come on and the people stroll through the streets after work and it's a really romantic vibe. We thought it'd be a good idea after visiting the Spanish Steps to now go visit the Colosseum. So we're walking around 30 minutes, I think, 30 minutes to see the Colosseum. Yep. So this is just the first day. This is crazy. I don't know why I signed up for this, but whatever. Why not? In the end, it was totally worth it. The Colosseum at night was the perfect end to our first two days in Rome. <laughs>